Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the sourcing and syncing concept of electronics, which is very basic concept. This concept is related to the switching device, which can be a transistor or a MOSFET. Here we have two configuration. On the left hand side, I have this sourcing configuration of the switching device and on the right hand side, I have this configuration which is also known as syncing configuration. In this video, I am taking an example of controlling the LED with a switch and this switch can be a transistor or a MOSFET but I am here taking a 2 pin push button. So here we have this load consisting of one LED and one resistance. In the sourcing configuration, the load will be connected to supply ground permanently and we are going to control the supply line with the help of this switching device. And you can see I have this power source of 12 volt or it can be any power source of required voltage. In the second configuration which is syncing, the load is connected to the power source permanently which is also a 12 volt source here. And this switching device is going to control the path from this load to the ground. So this is the major difference between sourcing and syncing. In the sourcing, the switching device will make and break the path between the power and the load. And in the syncing, it will provide a path between the load and the ground. I can simulate the circuit. Now both the LEDs or loads are off. If I activate this switching device, so this load will get activated. And if I activate this switching device, this load will be activated. Now we have both the LEDs on but only difference is in the arrangement of this switching device how we are sourcing the load and how we are syncing the load suppose our load required around 1 ampere of current and and we must use a switching device which can handle 1 ampere current easily second thing is that if we are going to use a transistor then we will use a PNP transistor for sourcing and NPN transistor for syncing. I can also explain the same concept with the help of a microcontroller and two LEDs connected to different pins of a microcontroller. Here the LED D1 and this resistance is connected in this way so that the microcontroller pin will source the supply or current to this LED to turn it on. And on the other hand, this second LED D2 is connected in this way that this microcontroller pin will sync the current from the supply or the load to help the LED to turn on and off. I can run the simulation and you can see when we will get a high on this pin then it will turn on this LED means this pin of a microcontroller is sourcing the supply to this load and in the second arrangement when this pin is low then only this LED will turn on that means this microcontroller pin is syncing the current from the load. In next few tutorials I will discuss about the transistors and MOSFETs as a switch and how we use them in our application. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.